I'm the person that the good BWC member and has been a counselor or has worked with Camp Rainbow. And this year I picked Wesley Golden. Where are you at, Wes? Yeah. Now, Jeremy. Jeremy, you need to come up here and say something to you. Of course, you know Jeremy Miner. He's in charge of Camp Rainbow. Yes. Boss man. From Camp Rainbow, and it means so much to me to stand up here, especially right now, standing up here with Wes. And uh, I'm like Bill. I don't like I like to pass it off to somebody that I think needs or should deserve to accept the check. Um, and tonight, well, first let me go back and say that you know, Dad says. I've heard him say this so much that the first year that Bob Golden came to camp and he was in the dorm and y'all been in the dorms and you know Bob was in there making the bed for his camper which those of you that have made a bed on those plastic mattresses you know how much of a challenge that is in itself but Bob was in there making his bed his first year at camp making that bed for his camper and he just looked at dad and said, I want to thank you for letting me be here. And you know, that hits, that hits hard because how can you, how, how can Bob say thank you for letting me be here when he's given a whole week of his life for those kids and, and him and Carolyn came and, and even Wes came, you know, and the, the year that Wes was there and, and your sister was there and you know, I'll never forget it. That we had the big WrestleMania and we had the big Harley in the activities building. Yeah, we're really supposed to do that shit, right? Uh, but anyway, it worked out great. The kids loved it and it was awesome. So um, tonight I want to ask Carolyn Golden to come up here and accept the check. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 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 Write a few things down in case I got choked up up here. But you're looking good tonight, though, brother. Thank you, Dad. Man, man, how you doing? So my dad joined BWC around the mid '90s, and he started bringing me around. And uh, I came in in 1998, which means my membership's now old enough to drink beer. <laughs> and uh, besides telling me about Jesus, the most uh, You the man, Wes. Golden strong, baby. The most important thing my dad told me was to do more for others than you do for yourself. <clears throat> and I know he wouldn't want us to make this about him. He would probably be pissed off if he knew we were talking about him. <laughs> because we know this is all about the kids, right? You know, when I uh, when I first started acting right, <laughs> I was going to. I was to oh, when I first started acting better, maybe <laughs> I was going to a little church called Red River Baptist Church, and their motto is "Love God and love His people." And I believe this organization does that very well. Uh, I've been involved in many organizations around town. And I get asked a lot, how do you get so many people to volunteer and show up and do things? We can only get 5% of our membership to do stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you can't explain the hearts and souls of these people. That's right. <laughs> you know, and... Uh, where I go to church now, their vision is know God, find freedom, discover purpose, and make a difference. And I believe that the people at Camp Rainbow and the Dream Factory, they understand that. 
And if you've ever been a counselor down there, you can, if you don't see God in that camp, you probably need to do a self-assessment. Yeah. <clears throat> I believe BWC and the Dream Factory have made it this far over this many years with the help of the Holy Spirit and God's will. So as we present this check for $55,000 to the wonderful people of the Dream Factory, let's remember that the money is worthless without the heart and souls of the people behind it. That's right, brother. Smiling down on us with great pride right now. Yep. Bob loved camp. And over the years, his help threw us through, took us through so many peaks and valleys. It prevented him from going for the whole week, but it didn't stop him from going a day here or a day there. Just this past year, he asked me, if we could go down and I text Jeremy to make sure it's okay. Jeremy said without a doubt, y'all could come every day. Unfortunately, his health did not allow us to go. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Your contribution to the kids and allowing me this honor and memory of Bob. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah.
Yeah. Baby, would, the finest we've ever had. would it be okay if we hang out on our wall over here somewhere forever? Forever. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Woo! Boogie, you're going to have some closing remarks, sir. You always do. <laughs>